Hi guys, this is Ames. Welcome and thank you for clicking on my video. I am at Walmart to work on my midweek mistletoe bonus. I need to redeem eight offers to get a dollar. And then this will also track towards my other bonuses that I'm working on. I already have one offer in, so I'll pick up seven offers at Walmart today. So let's go check out my haul. The first item I'll pick up is the Suave two-in-one body wash. It's $1.52. I grabbed two. That would bring my total to $3.04. I'm going to use two printable coupons for a dollar off that I got from the Unilever mailing. That will leave me to pay a dollar and four cents out of pocket. And then I'll submit my receipt to fetch for a thousand fetch points back on each of the body washes. So after everything, this will be a 96 cents moneymaker purchase. Next, I'll do a repeat deal on the Poise pads. It's actually now $5.24 or maybe at this store. I'm going to use a $2 printable coupon that I printed from coupons.com. So that'll leave me to pay $3.24. Submit to Ibotta for $2 back. Makes the final price $1.24. Next, I'm going to pick up a Ibotta freebie. I'm going to grab this Neutrogena dry hand cream for $3.96. Pay that out of pocket. Submit my receipt to Ibotta for $3.96 back, makes it free. Next, I'm going to pick up a CoverGirl eyeliner. It's priced at $4.44. I'm going to use a $3 insert coupon from the Save December 5th insert. So that will leave me to pay $1.44 out of pocket. Submit to Ibotta for $2 back, makes it a $0.56 cents moneymaker. Next, I'll pick up the finished detergent is $3.77. I'm going to use a $2 insert coupon from the Save December 5th insert. So that will leave me to pay $1.77 out of pocket. Submit to Ibotta for a dollar back makes it 77 cents. Next, I'll pick up the Lysol Nutri Air Spray. It's $3.97. That's what I'll pay out of pocket. But then I'll submit my receipt to coupons.com for 50 cents back. And then on Ibotta, there are two offers attaching to this. So I'll get back a total of $1.50 back from Ibotta. Makes the final price $1.97. Next, I'm going to pick up this all detergent for $2.97. I'm grabbing this for a field agent job. Basically, in store, I took a picture of the shelf with the item, and then my next step is to purchase it and submit my receipt, and then I'll get $5, which will make this purchase a $2.03 moneymaker. Next, I'm going to do a repeat deal on the Huggies Wipe. At this Walmart, it's actually $2.12. So Ibotta has a rebate for $0.50, cents, and because this is my second time redeeming the offer, I'll get an additional bonus of $5, which makes the final price $1.12. Next, I'm going to pick up this Soylent Creamy Chocolate Drink for $9.98. When you buy one, Swagbucks will give you back 700 Swagbucks, which is $7. And then on Checkout 51, there is a cash back for $0.88, cents, so it makes the final price $2.10. Next, I'm going to pick up a Shopkick deal. I'm going to pick up this Tums for $1.98 on Shopkick between the scan and purchase. You can get back 520 cakes. So for the scan, you need to scan the bigger item. So 520 cakes is equivalent to $2.08. So it makes this a 10 cent moneymaker. The last item I'll pick up for my haul is this Mountain Dew Major Melon. It's $1.98. On my fetch, I'll get back 8,750 points, which is $1.75, so it makes it just 23 cents. Hey guys, so I am home. I did do two transactions today. My first transaction, I had the Soylent and the Tums on one receipt. I like to do that because it's just easier for those apps to um, recognize the data on the receipt and it just processes sooner, I think. So on that receipt, it was like $11.96. I submitted my that receipt to Swagbucks, got an instant reward for $700 back on the Soylent, and then Shopkick, I got the $500 back um, rather quickly too. So then for my second receipt, I had the Neutrogena hand cream, $3.96. The Finish, $3.77. The $2 coupon went through no issue. Huggies, $2.12. Poise pad five twenty four two dollars coupon went through no issue. I thought you know in the video you can see that the price on the shelf is still like four forty eight. So I'm a little disappointed that they raised raised the price, but it is what it is. Okay, so then um, Cover Girl four forty four the three dollar coupon went through no issue. The Suave one fifty two uh, one coupon went through. And then the next swab is 152 and you can see that there's a voided entry for the second one 
and that's because um, I had trouble scanning this coupon. It wouldn't go through. I had to call the guy over to help me. And for some reason, when he scanned one of the coupons, it actually went through, but the second one wouldn't go through and he wouldn't override it for me. So I had him remove the item. Um, so then the Oxy detergent, or that's the all detergent 297, Lysol 397, and then the Mountain Dew $1.98. So on this receipt, it was a total of $22.02. .02. So altogether between my two receipts, I spent $33.98. From Ibotta, I got back a total of $12.46, and that includes my midweek mistletoe bonus of a dollar. Checkout 51 got back 88 cents. Fetch, I got back a total of $2.99, but I would just say $2.75. Swagbugs got back $7. Shopcake got back $2.08. Coupons.com, I submitted that to them and they're processing for the 50 cents back. Field agent submitted my receipt, so it's processing for $5 back. So after everything, this haul cost me $3.31. All right, guys, that is it for me, a little small mid midweek um, haul. I wanted to pick up some Clorox wipes, but they were out of stock. Uh, the Airwick warmer rebate was gone by the time I was there. And then when I was there to check the shop cake for the mentals, it didn't show up. And then when I get home, it's there. I would have picked up some mentals, but oh well. Um, yeah. All right, guys. That is it for me. Thank you so much for tuning into my content or my video. And if you guys like my content, please don't forget to hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.